The draw for Madrid has just come out. The WTA event, uh, massive 1,000 event on the WTA and the ATP combined event. We're going to start with the ladies event. Pretty stacked event, but let's go to the players that are not playing. So the withdrawal list for the WTA, we have a lot of big names, including Benchic, she's pulled out. Collins, Halep has also pulled out. Ons Jabur has also pulled out due to a tear in her calf muscle. Keys, Nuskova. Osaka's pulled out, of course, because she is pregnant. She won't be playing for the whole rest of the year. Pliskova, Risk, Zinirkova, Teague, Tomanovic, who's still struggling with a knee problem. And Song has also pulled out. So some big names there, especially Benchic and Pliskova. Both have been very good on the clay so far this year. Both missing from Madrid. Well, let's go to the top half of the draw. Okay, so here's the top of the draw. We have 32 seeds in this one, and all 32 get a buy in the first round. Iga Sviantek, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Raducanu, taking on a qualifier. Very interesting second round, Raducanu Sviantek. Then we've got Iella taking on Maria. Winner of that play is the number 28 seed, Pera, in the second round. Then we've got Zhang getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Gelfi or McNally in the second round. Uh, then we've got Cornet taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will play Alexandrova, the 16th seed in the second round. So look, Triantec's draw has got some tricky names. You know, Raducanu, Cornet, Zhang, even Alexandrova is a tough one, but I think it's manageable. I think it's manageable. She just won Stuttgart. She should get through those names. She beat Zhang last week. She's beaten Raducanu uh, this year as well. Uh, Alexandrova and Cornet could be an interesting one, but I think she should be okay in this section. Next section of the draw, we've got Krajikova. It's by in the first round. She'll take on either Kovinic or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Gracheva taking on Wong. Winner of that would play Andrescu number 23 seed, who's back from that injury that she got in Miami, which is good to see her back so quick. Then we got Mahatic getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Podoroska or a qualifier in the second round. Then we got Kalin Sky taking on Fruvitova. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed, Rybakina. So this section's interesting. Rybakina, Grzykova, the big seeds. Mahatic can play on clay. Andrescu also back from injury. Interested to see how that works. But interesting section. Not too many crazy unseeded players, but uh, very interesting matchups, potentially third and fourth rounds. Winner of this section Section, might play Sviantec in the quarterfinals. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Pagula getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Paolini or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Svetolina taking on Sastovic. Winner of that match will take on the number 29 seed, Buskova. Then we've got Trevison taking on a qualifier in the second round. A lot of qualifiers in this section of the draw. There's another qualifier taking on Parks. Winner of that will take on Azarenka, the 15th seed in the second round. So Pagula Azarenka, potential fourth round. Interesting section. Again, I you know Pagula made the final here last year, so I I think she'll like her draw. A couple of qualies in there. As a rank is the toughest player in this section, I think, for Pagula. Then the bottom section of the top half, we've got Kudamatova. Buy in the first round. She'll take on either Blinkova or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Christian taking on Stevens. Winner of that will take on Potapova, the 21st seed in the second round. Then we've got Teichman into the second round. After a buy in the first, she'll take on either Sharenko or Bronzetti in the second round. Then we've got Kazan Seva taking on Pavlyuchenkova. Winner of that match will take on the number eight seed, Kazakina. So this section's a little open because, you know, Kudamatova, Kazakina, both pretty good clay quarters. Potapova's in good form. Um, so it could be one of them, but I mean, this section's a little bit open. And of course, this section will take on the Pagula section uh, in the quarterfinals and possibly Sviantek in the semi. So I feel like this bottom section might be the most open. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. Top half of the bottom, top section of the bottom half. We've got Goff by in the first round. She'll take on either Kanepi or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Strikova taking on Chokioretto. Winner of that will take on Bedosa. So potentially a Bedosa Goff third round there. Then we've got Vekic taking on uh, either Masarova or Buxa in the second round after getting a buy in the first. Uh, and Insomova will take on a qualifier. Winner will play Sakri. This is the hardest section of the draw. You've got Bedosa, Sakri, Goff, and Vekic, not to mention Kanepi and Nisimova, all very tough opponents. Uh, Nisimova made a French Open. People forget about that back in 2019. Um, also, I think Masarova might have been a junior Grand Slam champion. Um, I'm not sure if it's a, a French Open or not, but she is tough. Buxa, also a tough clay quarter from Spain. So this section is the worst section. I think this is the hardest section. Goff especially, very tough for her. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Samson Oba. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Zinevska or Kennan in the second round. And we've got Fruvitova taking on Volinets. Winner of that will take on Ostapenko in the second round. And we've got Bagu into the second round. She'll take on the winner of Contivate and Mukova. Very good first round matchup there. Very fun. Uh, Bogdan will take on Bondaire. Winner of that match will take on Rogers, who comes in as the 33rd seed after Jabur withdrew. So this section's a little more open. But Ostapenko, uh, we know what she's capable of. Samsonova can play on clay. We saw that last year. Uh, Fruvitova is an interesting one. 
to see. Kennen made a final of a French Open, so watch out for her as well, maybe. Contemate Mukova. So I feel like this section's open, and this section takes on the golf section. So the golf section's crazy. This section's a little bit more random, I think. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Garcia. She'll take on the winner of Putinseva or Lou in the second round. Then we've got Georgie taking on Sharif. Winner of that will take on Kalanina in the second round. Then we've got Mertens. She gets by in the first round as well. She'll take on either Zhu or Marino in the second round. Then we've got Nimai taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on Kvitova in the second round. So Garcia's got a nice draw. I mean, it's not easy, um, but she'll like her chances, I'm sure. Uh, tricky opponents. Kvitova in the fourth round, of course. Look, you know, Georgie, Putinseva, Kalanina did well here last year. Mertens is always tough to play. So I feel, again, like this draw is a little bit open. Maybe Kvitova based on form. In the bottom section of the draw, you've got Hadaj Maya. She'll take on either Andreva or Fernandez in the second round. Um, qualifier will take on Ribeira. Winner of that will take Lynette in the second round, who gets a buy in the first round. And then you've got Kostyuk also getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Osorio or a qualifier. Then you've got Castella taking on Davis. Winner of that will take Sabalenka. Remember in Miami, Castella took on Sabalenka and won. So that could be an interesting match. Not easy for Sabalenka. Kostyuk in the third round. Uh, potentially Hadaj Maya or Lynette in the fourth round. Very capable of playing on clay, those two. So that's tough for Sabalenka, who won this tournament two years ago. And of course, this section will take on the Garcia section the quarterfinals and of course uh, this section as well will take on in the semi-finals Thackeray, Goff I mean the second half of the draws are a lot more random from what I can see but who do you think is going to win let me know if you're watching this video later in the comments below or let me know in the chat right now who is going to win in Madrid I mean Shvontek's playing she didn't play last year Sabalenka won two years ago Gula made the final last year can she win it this year uh, a lot of players with question marks obviously a very tough draw for someone like a Goff Rabakin is injured so maybe we might get someone outside the top 10 winning this one. Maybe this is going to be a bit more random. Or maybe Sviantec can take the win. But uh, let me know. Who do you think is going to take out Madrid for the ladies?